say you have a car and you want the sound to go up as the speed goes up. First thing you want to do is when the seat is occupied you want to get to play. So you just want to type whatever uh, the name of your model is. So workspace dot, let's say your car's name is car. You can do workspace dot car. I just have it stored in a variable here. Then you want to enter the name of the vehicle seat and then occupant which just means if it's occupied then it's going to do this so it's an if then so first thing you want to do is play your audio so just go to wherever your audio is actually at and type in the name of your audio um, I just got this from over here there's a lot in the Roblox library then you want to type colon play then parentheses. So that should play the sound when the vehicle seat is occupied. So the sound plays, but obviously it's pitch isn't changing at all. So how we want to do that is first we want to get the velocity of the car. So to get that, we need to find the last position first. So you're just going to make a variable called last position. Then that's going to equal um, whatever your car is, um, you can select any part of it. I usually just use the middle, or like the chassis, whatever you want, and then position. And then you're going to make a um, <coughs> forever loop. This will only run when the car seat is occupant, though, so it's not going to like lag your game if the car seat is an occupant. I'm going to do wait, so your game doesn't like completely lag or whatever. Um, I usually have it wait a few milliseconds too, so that way the sound isn't like super bendy, if that makes any sense. So then you want to make your velocity va variable. That's going to equal your your uh, car's current position. So get the current position. And then you're going to subtract that by the last position you just got. So that's going to be your velocity. And that'll help us change the speed. So first you want to update your last position to the new position. So that way when the position changes again, uh, you have the correct velocity. So you just want to change it to the current one. And that's it for that while true loop. Or no. Well, yeah, it's it for the velocity. But now we need the pitch to actually change. So first you want to get your sound. So this is my sound. And then you want to press dot pitch equals. So you always want to start at 1. That's just going to be the basic pitch. And then you can do plus velocity, your variable. Make sure you put magnitude. And then divide. I um, go by 100. You can divide this by whatever, though. It depends how deep your sound is. And then... um. When that ends, you want to make sure in this um, if then here, you want to make sure right before the end of that, you want to put an else, which I'll make one right here, and you want to put mid um, or whatever part you're using that's playing the en uh, the engine sound. You want to get that get the engine sound Oops. and then colon stop parentheses so what this is for is basically to sum it up we check if the car's vehicle seat is occupied if so the engine sounds gonna play then we get the last position of the car based off of that we get the velocity of the current car and then we use the velocity uh, as magnitude divided by whatever number you want to change the pitch and then if the car seat isn't occupied then the sound will stop so let's test it pretty new to Roblox Studio myself, but if I find other um, 
things that I think might be useful to y'all, I will be sure to post them on the channel. Thank you for watching.